Hey, everybody. Hey. It's big, it's black, it's dead. Uh, we're talking about a oh. sarcophagus. <laughs> Thank a God. Sarcophagus. A sarcophagus. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter. Oh, a yeah. sarcophagus I drank a lot. <laughs> has been unearthed. We'll keep drinking because this story gets wild, okay. sir. In Egypt, and nobody knows who is inside it because it's been sealed for over 2,000 years. Oh boy. What really stands out about this solemn looking big black coffin is its size. It is 185 centimeters, 70, which is like 72.8 inches. <laughs> too tall, uh, 265 centimeters long, which is 10, 104 inches long, and 165 centimeters wide, which is 65 centimeters inches wide. I'm doing that because I wanna be inclusive to everyone. No one knows. Thank God for you putting in the metric system because I was lost. No, see, Thank it's you. important <laughs> you for the, it was for the viewers. Uh, yeah. it's, and this is, so this is the biggest uh, coffin Separated ever at found. Separated girth is what this story could be called. Uh, in <laughs> Just Alexandria. Like, don't open it. Okay. Like don't open it, right? Did they open it yet? They, as of this taping, they have not opened it. It has been sealed still. So there's still like that layer of mortar that is intact, which is rare because so much of the archeological findings that you have in Egypt specifically have been like plundered and damaged over centuries and centuries. So it's rare to find something that is so intact. Um, there is that giant head that they found, which they do believe to be the person in the coffin that seems likely, but they can't be sure at this time. And we'll just have to wait until they open the coffin to see who is the sarcophagus in question. It's likely someone of great status given the, the burial structure that they've uncovered. But like all the other sarcophagi yeah. look like fun. They're like gold and they have like a fluey on the head and like a right. beard. And this one's just like a black box. Of, like, of evil. It's probably like the mummy. Some Open the box, the plague, pestilence, locusts. What else happens? Snacks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't like do it. Like the worst case scenario, the there might snacks. be old snacks in there. Yeah, yeah. the just worst Twinkies. snacks. Yeah, just, just hard candy. Might just all be yeah. hard candy. Yeah. Twinkies and ding dongs. <laughs> like, oh man. Mm. That's amazing. Oh. What would you want to come out Twinkies of Twinkies and ding dongs, isn't that a uh, private detective show about an elderly gay man and a young teen boy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Twinkies and ding dongs, they solve crime together. <laughs> It's too bad that was on Logo before Logo. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Was a thing. Was Logos? Yeah. Logo's okay. still a thing. It's still a thing. It's still. It's, but it lives online. I know it does. That's where it lives. <laughs> does anyone have any questions for me regarding the story that I know a lot about? And roll the graphic open for Twinkies and Dig Dogs. <laughs> Please go ahead. We don't have that. That's a crime. That's a oh, tragedy right bad. there. It's filmed on location in Subway. <laughs> Jared Fogel made it. Uh, I don't a Jared know what Fogel else is joint. It's a Jared Fogel joint this week on Twinkie and Ding Dong. <laughs>